You have gone through a tough time recently, a public divorce, and oh, just it's a, start out just right. Just I have, but yeah, I, I got it. You know why? Because it's nice to see no, you, John. I, I, I said you're gorgeous. I saw that. I want to know a how you're doing. It seems like you're doing well, and b the inspiration for this book had a lot to do Is with this that. Whiskey. <laughs> I wish. Because it's never easy, and I but but especially when you're in the public. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually. You know, I read a lot about it in the introduction to my new cookbook, uh, where I talk a lot right. about sort of figuring, taking a year to figure out, okay, where's my life going? Yep. Who am I now? What's going to happen to me in the future? I was with uh, my ex-husband for 25 years, yeah. so since I was 18, and I'm no longer 18. <laughs> so there you have it. Long time later. And so I had to re rethink my life a little. And I have a daughter who's seven and a half, Jade. Jade. And so I was trying to figure out, like, okay, what does this mean now? Because we're identified a lot of times by Absolutely. being married. Yep. And so I found myself cooking a lot more, but not on television as much as just for myself and for my family and for my daughter. And started to realize, like, I know why I fell in love with cooking, because it makes me happy. Yeah. And because it's the place that I feel the strongest, the most empowered, the most creative. It's where I can stand on my own two feet and know who I am truly. And, yeah. 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 and it's always been that way for you since it's the time a, you were little. Yes, yes, yes yeah. Yeah. Over yeah. time, you forget. You forget. You just yeah. get busy in of your course. daily life, and we forget who we are and yeah. why we do what we do and what we love. So that's where happy cooking comes from. And yes, I'm doing much better a year and a half later. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there you have it. Excellent. <laughs>